Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's Busiest Music Nerd. I apologize for the slightly clickbaity title of this video. However, I am talking about sort of screenwriter Max Landis and pop starlet Carly Rae Jepsen in this video, and they do have a very deep and interesting link as a result of something Mr. Landis just released on this website uh, called A Scar No One Else Can See. Dot com. He put out this promotional video where essentially he sort of talks about going insane over this idea, this theory that he has about Carly Rae Jepsen's music. And this theory is that Carly Rae Jepsen's world, the world in which she writes from, her music, her lyrics, is so small and so laser focused that nearly everything she writes about has to be drawn from a very like similar and a very specific series of events or even a single person or a single relationship but in fact a relationship that never did actually end up budding because there are some weird lyrical i guess consistencies to Carly Rae Jepsen's lyrics like she's never quite fully into a relationship she's always either on the side or trying to get into a relationship with this particular person like she's always sort of falling short of the mark when it comes to actually getting into a relationship she and she completely avoids singing about things which I had never fully completely noticed uh, things like uh the word I'm looking for is reciprocated love. And there are a set of very defined themes that really run throughout a majority of her songs. And Landis essentially in this website and in this piece, because pretty much every section of this website is a part of this very long, very detailed, very well thought out uh, sort of document that I read before he actually put it onto this website, like he had hit me up on Twitter weeks and weeks and weeks ago and was like, dude, I need you to read this. I sort of have a theory. I think it's really interesting. And it's in like seven parts. So, uh, and, and when I originally was looking at it, it was like a 150 page document. I don't know <laughs> if it's gotten any longer or shorter. Uh, it may have even gotten, you know, longer, I will assume, uh, going into, um, this release on this website, I, I, I can only assume, although it does look like some things have been pared down maybe a little bit, but uh, still, it is very long. It is a very detailed document where he goes through like line by line through a lot of lyrics, bringing up the themes, bringing up the things she's saying, and then kind of creating this spider web of connections where he is uh, trying to sort of build this narrative, pull together this tapestry of all the things Carly Rae Jepsen says and references in her music throughout her whole discography. This is not just limited to one single album. This is every single Carly Rae Jepsen song, okay? That's Max's theory, and that's what so far, going through all of her songs, he has successfully, as far as what I've been able to read, that he has been able to successfully actually kind of like pull together and, and in a way prove. So again, this is, this is his theory here. You know, I mean, it's, it's nothing new that pop music's themes and lyrics are typically, are typically limited, you know, to a, to a set series of things that uh, the mainstream public likes hearing about, but there is something sort of subtle and sort of off about Carly's music in that, Again, it sort of seems like she centers on this one series of events or this one person that, according to her lyrics, are so specific that it couldn't really not be anything else. Um, and, uh, you know, on top of that, just the sort of things that she may dip her toes into, like love, but when you actually read into what she's saying, like, she's actually not sort of in a loving relationship like like you may catch in a lot of pop songs. You know, she's not going out and partying and having a good time just for the sake of doing so, you know. Um, so I don't know, man. This is a really interesting read of what I've been able to catch of it so far. I recommend that you guys ca that, that you guys read it too, that you guys watch it, you know, this video, um, that you guys sort of look into 
Max's theory here. Try to pull it apart. Give your own opinion. Um, you know, try to disprove it if you want. And keep in mind, this is something I wanted to stress. And Max also asked me to stress because apparently there has been a little bit of a, a negative backlash uh, against what he's written here. This is not a negative piece. This is not an anti Carly Rae Jepsen piece. This is not a Carly Rae Jepsen, you know, hate manifesto. What Max is doing here clearly, and you could read it in the intro, comes from a, a place of love and admiration and appreciation of Carly's music. Like he only started, as he describes in the document that I read, that he only sort of came to these realizations and he came to these sort of ideas through listening to her music again and again and again and again and again, mostly because he loved the Emotion record so much, which if you guys follow my reviews, you know that me as well, I enjoy that album quite a bit. Um, you know, and there were certainly some things about that record that made it seem special in the pop sphere, made it seem sort of different. It wasn't your average pop record. Um, you know, however, Max sort of seems to dive into what makes that album and Carly Rae in general special, uh, you know, much, much deeper than I did in my reviews, uh, or really kind of ever could, you know, without writing, uh, <laughs> over 150 pages of, of material. So do look into this thing. This is insane. And in the best way possible, you know, it's it's proof that uh, Max is insane, but it's also kind of proof that maybe Carly is sort of insane, too, you know, because it's almost like the place that she's writing from is like, uh, uh, you know, a romper room for a crazy person in a straitjacket. You know, it's, it's like she never leaves this one room. She never leaves this one space when it comes time to write a song, write some lyrics or whatever. So, again, comes from a place of admiration. But, uh, you know, this this is kind of like a really strange thing that Max has pointed out. And uh, it is a really weird anomaly. And, you know, don't think of it as a, a slight against Carly Rae Jepsen. I mean, in fact, it's kind of uh, in a subconscious way, uh, something that makes her sort of special and interesting, you know, a bit of an enigma. So, again, give this thing a shot. Read up on this thing. Let me know what you think down in there in the comments. And uh, that's it, guys. You're the best. Over here next to my head is another video that I think you should check out or click on the link to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one forever. Bye -bye.